Welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is a channel where we come together to discuss everything relating to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video because, as you know, this is the channel where we come together to take the facts and take away and, and crush up all of the rubbish and throw it in the rubbish bin and take the absolute facts together. Okay, so everybody knows who Phil Neville is, right? Manchester United, Everton, England midfielder, uh, was part of England squads at Euro 96, Euro 2000, Euro 2004. Didn't play for England at the World Cup though, but part of a Manchester United team that won the treble, won countless trophies at Manchester United, captain at Everton for a period of time as well, was part of Manchester United's coaching staff as well, and was England women's head coach when they went to the semi-finals of the World Cup in 2019 in France, England eventually finishing fourth in that tournament. And at this point in time, where Phil Neville is concerned, he is coaching at Inter Miami. And as we know, that is in MLS. So what is the situation with Phil Neville as it relates to Jamaican players? Well, Phil was at the Gold Cup and he observed Jamaican talent that he really, really liked. And the project that he wants to build at Inter Miami, he... Put it this way, there's two players that he is was very, very impressed with at the Gold Cup. And one of them is Devon Speedy Williams, and the other is a central defender. Now, he wants to build for the future. And of course, these players that he has an interest in are in their late 20s, they're about, so you might be saying, well, Simon... Shouldn't he be looking for somebody 20, 19, 18? Well, he wants to also have a solid base of individuals that have played in North America, individuals that have international experience. So Phil is an admirer of Jamaican talent in the North American region, persons that have that sort of talent. So I'm not talking specifically about Mariapa, who might be at the twilight of his career, Andre Gray, that might be looking towards the North American market after. Who knows? So... I'm speaking specifically towards players that are in the USL itself. He also had his eyes on Junior Flemings, but as you all know, from Junior Flemings as, as at Phoenix Rising FC, the talks of Toulouse in France were certainly there, and there were thereabouts. So that's how things are where that is concerned. So Phil Neville is, like I said, with his interest in Jamaican talent, don't expect this to fade, don't sleep on it. I'm not saying tomorrow morning a Jamaican is going to end up at Inter Miami, but what I'm saying is that his word of mouth, his interest, he has been reaching out to Jamaican players and having dialogue with them face to face and also via messaging and, and video chats as well in terms of Zoom and, and other mediums as well. So that's something that you can pay close attention to. So he's having these conversations, having these discussions, and it only bodes well for Jamaican players who want to apply their trade overseas, who want to apply their trade in Major League Soccer, and you never know, Phil, Phil's brother is Gary Neville. Gary Neville is the part owner of Salford City FC, who apply their trade in England. And we all know what's in England, right? Yeah, professional football. So, the sky's the limit. The door is wide open. Anything can really happen from this scenario. This is something that should be embraced, something that should really, really be spoken about and something that we should all commend because not many people or not many coaches have an eye on Jamaican talent specifically. They don't look for nationality. But Phil, Rick Shantz, they see something and that something has to be something that we need to applaud. So, Reggae Boys fans, this was a short video for you all to, to let you all know about the two Jamaican players that, that Phil Neville has an interest into. What are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But it wasn't McGee that caught his eye. It was Devon Speedy Williams and a central defender who you all are aware of by now. And that central defender is not Adrian Mariapo. So, Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Take care, guys.